Hey folks, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to tie for you guys um, a monkey milk uh, crappy jig. Um, in my vice here I have a 116 ounces uh, minnow head. Uh, pretty much I make these colors. Um, I think came in really good. And by the way, welcome to my new channel. Uh, now my new channel uh the name is not gonna have my name now it's gonna have uh r a outdoors that's gonna be the name of that my channel please welcome and remember don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to give me thumbs up and uh please uh share the video and like the video right okay so first of all uh this is size four uh i make this color i think it looks uh pretty cool uh, it's got a little uh, blue and white um, 116 ounces um, Well with this jig I want to use a uh, uh, Hakko feathers um, For the tail I want to use these uh, White Hakko feathers Okay And uh, I want to use one piece of uh, uh, white And one piece of uh, uh, Blue here For the tail You see that okay and um, for the body I want to use this uh, new material that I got a couple couple weeks ago uh, if you can see it it's a monkey milk uh, median chenille I really like that because you have a lot of flashing uh, I tried this before last year it works well okay and uh, for the flashing I want to use this a, a, a blue um, Crystal flash from uh, Cabela's. I want to use this. I want to use uh, two pieces. That should be enough, plenty enough for uh, flashing for the tail. Okay. So before I start my uh, my thread, I would like to put some uh, glue uh, to the hook shank. Just a little bit. I always do. Okay. And uh, for the tray, I want to use this uh, green olive uh, uh, one eight denier. Uh, in this case, green olive. I like this, so I want to use this. So I want to start behind the, the head and go back to the hook point. Okay, and then take this off. Okay, take this off. And I like this color because pretty much it's going to match all the colors, uh, pretty much. I really like this. I know I see some videos in, uh, in Facebook and YouTube channel. And me, myself, I like to tie this because this is really effective. This is a classy jig uh, to fish with. Okay. So that should be good right there. So I already have here uh, uh, one piece of blue tip of the hack already, ready to go. And uh, it's going to save me some time uh, so we can go a little bit uh, faster here. So you want to do is put this on top of the hook shank. Make a nice wrap and then go all the way behind the hook point. And then... When you tie the second, you can see that. Um, and then I want to grab the second tip of the hako. And again, uh, it's going to be one white and one blue. Okay. It's the same size like the, the blue one. Okay. So you want to do is put it right there in the top of the hook shank to make a wraps. Go all the way to uh, the hook point. That should be enough right there. Do a nice tight wraps. So what you have here is one white and one blue. You see that? Okay. So that's what you want. Um, okay. Now I want to tie uh, three pieces that be. Uh, the same hackle. I want to tie uh, 
three pieces the B for the body. So I want to show you in a few minutes, a few seconds. This is the B. So you want to do is just put it right there in the top of the hook shank. So, so what I'm doing here is trying to give us a nice body to the tail besides the tip of the hako. So it gives a nice size. Okay, I still have one left here, one B. Okay, I want to show you one second. This is the B. Okay, so I want to tie this here. And then, so what this gonna do is gonna give us a nice, uh, nice body, a nice uh, profile to the tail. Tie that really nice, okay? I put a nice wrap here. So what I have here is one white tip of the hako and one blue, okay? It's gonna match, it matches the head. You see the head? I paint this myself. Okay, now I wanna take two pieces of uh, crystal flash. In this case, uh, blue, match the whole thing. I wanna take two pieces off. Okay, and tie two pieces. All this flash is gonna tie them up in the in top of the the hook shank. Okay, so that should be uh four pieces of flash all together. Okay, tie them up really nice. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you want to do right now is grab the tail and the flash and cut a little, little bit longer than the tail. That should be enough right there. And I always say and I always do save those uh, pieces of crystal flash because you can tie another jig for that. Because it's way too expensive, guys. I keep saying that and every time I tie a jig because it's crazy that the way... Uh, sell these uh, materials it's really really expensive okay now I have my tip of the hackles and my bees right there my crystal flash so I want to do now is put my uh, chenille my uh, monkey milk uh, this is monkey milk chenille I really love that color it's gonna match pretty much gonna match all the colors that's what I want but before that I always do I put a lot of glue into the hook shank because when you tie you your materials it's gonna last you for a little bit longer than normal do okay so now this is if you notice that this color is a material have you see it have a lot of flash I really love this wait till you see when I'm done with this you can see how beautiful it's gonna look okay take a couple pieces of fibers off and just put it right there make a couple wraps okay that should be enough and bring your thread all the way behind the head just leave your thread right there Okay, so now you can start tying, I mean wrapping, sorry, you can start wrapping you, you chenille here to the body. This is a beautiful material, I really like this. Last year I, I used this a lot, of, this jig here, kills a lot of crappy guys, kills tons of crappy. There you go. Then make it cross and then yes. Make two wraps. Make another cross. And make two wraps. Just take this off. 
There we go. Okay. Just push the fibers a little bit back and then just make it tight wraps. Okay. You can see now is the body of this looks beautiful, beautiful, beautiful monkey milk crappy jig minnow head. Okay, it's gonna grab my uh my finish tool here and then make it a couple wraps here and finish this guy here. One, two, three, four. It's gonna give it a uh, couple more. One, two, three, four. That's eight right there. That's plenty enough, guys. All right, and then yes, put a little bit of glue into the thread. That should be enough. I like to, me personally, I like to put some uh, hard snails to the head too. Gives a nice flashing, nice, nice shiny color there. Look at this, guys. Beautiful, crappy jig. Really like that. <clears throat> Let me take out my bike, excuse me. Just put it different way so you can guys see that better. Look at that guys. Look at that head. I make this myself. By the way, I I make uh, almost 200 jigs the different colors to start tying in my new my new channel. Please support me, help me subscribe my channel this is gonna be new for me because it's a new channel i uh, hope you guys like it don't remember don't forget to give us thumbs up for more videos and please stay on for more videos and uh thank you so much for watching and please subscribe share the videos with your friends i hope you enjoy this with your friends and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you.